In this video, we will focus on dot and cross drawing of calcium oxide ionic compound. Let's refer to the periodic table. We can determine the number of electrons each atom has from the periodic table. In this periodic table, the number at the top tells us the number of protons an atom has. Since the number of protons and electrons are the same in an atom, this number also tells us how many electrons each atom has. The number at the bottom tells us the number of protons and neutrons each atom has. Let's focus on calcium now. It is here in the periodic table. Calcium has 20 electrons. We'll use dot to represent the electrons of calcium. The first shell holds two electrons. The second and third shell holds eight electrons. The last two electrons are in the fourth shell. Calcium atom would love to donate these two electrons to a non-metal atom so that it can achieve an octet configuration. Now the non-metal in this compound is oxygen. It is here in the periodic table. Oxygen has eight electrons. Let's use cross to represent the electrons of oxygen. The first shell holds two, second shell holds six. Oxygen has only six electrons in its outermost shell. In order to achieve the octet configuration, it needs to take in two more electrons. So what will happen now is, calcium atom will donate both the electrons to oxygen, forming calcium ion and oxide ion. Let's work out the charges of the ions. Calcium has 20 protons, which gives it a charge of positive 20, while 20 electrons, which gives it a charge of negative 20. Hence, the overall charge of this atom is zero. When calcium gives away its electrons to the nonmetal, the number of protons remain unchanged. Hence, the positive charge is still positive 20. However, there are only 18 electrons left. Hence, the negative charge is negative 18. Overall charge in this ion is positive 2. We will need to represent this charge in the dot and cross diagram. Now put the bracket and the charge. For oxygen, the atom has 8 protons, which gives it a charge of positive 8, while 8 electrons, which gives it a charge of negative 8. The overall charge of this atom is zero. When oxygen takes in electrons from calcium, the number of protons remain unchanged. Hence, the positive charge is still positive 8. However, there are 10 electrons now. Hence, the negative charge is negative 10. Overall charge in this oxide ion is negative 2. Put the bracket and the charge in the dot and cross diagram. Sometimes in the examination questions, they will ask you to draw only the outermost electrons. Hence, we can omit the inner shells and this is what you should draw. In a nut shell, a metal loses its outermost electrons to form positive ion, while a non-metal gains the electrons to form negative ion. The oppositely charged ions are held together by strong electrostatic forces of attraction, which we call the ionic bond. We will be going through the drawing of dot and cross diagram of other ionic compounds in this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Do give me a thumbs up and share the video with your friends if you find it useful. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.